Kraft macaroni and cheese. It's what's for breakfast. We're starting tonight to prepare for tomorrow. It's so good when it's hot. But you know what? I love cold leftover mac and cheese. Ew. Nobody likes that. Everybody likes that. Guys, comment if you like that. A lot of people like that. Stop! <laughs> Don't cry, Julia. All you have to do is eat mac and cheese for 24 hours today. I love these challenges. They make me feel so thin. Lobster mac and cheese? No. Oh, so it's a good spot. Kraft, it's what for breakfast. We're gonna be eating mac and cheese all day. I definitely didn't rate it number one. Number one, until something hits it out. Oh wow, for breakfast too, huh? Rob, we wish you were coming on the full challenge with us. I don't. <laughs> We got some more cheese to eat. You need help? Nope. Oh, hi. Do you happen to have mac and cheese on the menu? Yes. Oh, awesome. <laughs> do, do we need a picnic of mac and no, cheese? No, we don't need oh, a okay. picnic of mac and cheese. <laughs> so dangerous. Completely random. Wasn't even on our list. Bojangles. Oh my goodness, am I gonna love this the most? <laughs> Looks like a little bit oily, but really cheesy. You should've got the family, the picnic style one. <laughs> $1.92 with tax. Mmm, dude, this is probably better than KFC. My bow, you going on top, cause that's how I like it. Also going number one. I don't know if anything's gonna be able to beat this. Can't get the chicken sandwich, so let's just get the mac and cheese. I'm just happy to be back. Thank you for choosing Papa's. We are unfortunately open right at the moment. Go to Arby's. Well, Arby's doesn't have mac and cheese. Yes, it does. Does it? There's a drive through. But Julia has to pee. How you pee? Is that allowed? KFC, that is brilliant. Making a Taco Bell logo out of the sauces. Also brilliant. That, brilliant. This, brilliant. They're brilliant here. I, I'm, I can't, I'm on this crazy diet, so I can't have the chicken. It's definitely more, and I almost think it's a smaller portion size. It's wetter. Already I think this might win over Bojangles. It's like creamier. Oh my god, stop eating it. You put it number one? Yeah. I'm putting it right there. They're so close. Bojangles taste more like homemade. Bo wins on value and taste. We just ran into a Cracker Barrel, so we had to abort our initial plan of action. Sorry, Michael Green, if you're watching this, Cracker Barrel is a little bit more important than you. Can you buy me that? I don't think that'll fit around my neck. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, we need this. And we gotta get this for the turtles. Oh yeah. Whoa. That's got like stuff in it because it's super awesome Cracker Barrel. This looks like a mixture between the KFC and the Bojangles. Yes, the best of both worlds. Oh. Listen to the noise of it. Get in on it. Oh, the noodle fell. It's got some seasoning. Comes in at $2.89. Totally worth it. Oh my god, I can't stop eating it. Looks like it's a bigger portion too. Dude, it's damn good. Oh my gosh. Cracker Barrel! Clearly, number one Cracker Barrel, in JP's opinion. I'm gonna put Cracker Barrel right under Bojangles. Bojangles is still number one. I don't know if anything else is gonna beat it out. Can I eat it all? No! I'm being nice. <laughs> no, you're not being nice. Okay, oh. it's damn good. You know what? I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah. It's a dollar more, but it's well worth it. Uh, this is, these are the roads I don't like. That's because that traffic light looked like the movie Scarecrow. It was a good idea, but now it's a bad idea. It's going right through you? Yeah, it's going right through me, and my stomach hurts. How was the women's restroom? It's an emergency. Y'all got mac and cheese here? No. No, we're fresh out. You're fresh out. Oh, no. You can't say fresh. <laughs> you always eat fresh here. This place is legit, though. They got showers here. Did you see that? For real? 
I'm super excited to try their new mac and cheese, Julia. What if it's sold out? Well, that would be a shame. Here it is, the Chick-fil-A, coming in at $2.56. Dude, th that's a real mac and cheese smell. That's like baked mac and cheese cheese. Definitely creamy. Wow. I've only heard good things about this. Oh my goodness. That cheddar makes everything better. Chick-fil-A. Oh my. I put Chick-fil-A to number one. Mm -hmm. This tastes straight up home in. Why is it so good? Why does every place we go to just outbeat the last place? Chick-fil-A, you go number one. I can guarantee you I can't make better mac and cheese. <laughs> Hello, Julia. Hi. Hello. What is you. in this box here? Well, you know how we never feed you and stuff? And this better not be that f one chip bullshit. No, no. <laughs> Got you easy, Mac. Come on, man. This is the bullshit. <laughs> You're supposed to cook, you son of a bitch. I got you cookout that one time. You didn't cook it, though. Oh, the cheese is mixing with the mayonnaise. Oh, God. Dude, JP doesn't like us. Why not? No, no, I just figured it'd be convenient. It's so easy, JP. Yeah, I'm cooking for Michael Green, finally. No, no, this is not cooking for me. <laughs> JP, this is the only thing that you're supposed to be good at. Is microwaving things and it okay, dude. seems like you messed this one up, JP. Easy Mac. It's definitely different than box oh, mac. Hot. Ah! <laughs> Thanks for cooking for me, JP. I should have gotten you guys some of that Chick-fil-A mac and cheese. That would have been better than this. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> Alright, Easy Mac is going underneath craft, which really makes no sense because they're the same thing. You promised us you're gonna cook for like years now. This is trash. Thanks for stopping by. Dude, this is a big prank. We actually made you something. Do you want to get it? Really? Oh, no, we're just yes. kidding. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Curry. No, no. Careful, don't trip. You're going to leave the door open? Oh, oh my God, go, go. Popeyes. Coming in at a whopping $1.89, it is one of the least expensive mac and cheeses since Bojangles. It's KFC. It's the same recipe. But maybe a little bit more loose. That's just like gross. Is it? No. It looks good. Mmm. I wanted to like this. No. Popeyes is not as good as KFC. I said it. It's not as good as Kraft either. This tastes like Golden Corral mac and cheese. I don't know. I never had Golden Corral mac and cheese. I'm going to rank it <clears throat> at the bottom. And also, I put Chick fil A down. I had to. You moved it? Yep. Chick-fil-A is now below Cracker Barrel and Bojangles just because it's too cheesy. It's sitting in my stomach weird. It's giving me a tummy ache. Uh, all right. Boston Market, here we come. I've never had it before. Really? What did it look like? Is it creamy? Is it dry? Is it mixed? Is it baked? Is it homemade? Is it fresh? Is it frozen? Is it creamy? Is it too liquidy? You're repeating stuff. Is it like buffet? Just letting you know now that we're serving the prime rib tonight. Oh, that sounds delicious. Unfortunately, I'm just gonna get the regular mac and cheese, please. Got an expensive date here. Boston Market, regular mac and cheese, $2.79. Let's check it out. That was so smooth of me to open it like that. What's with the spirals? I don't know, I think it holds in more of the cheese. Dude, that cheese looks wet and delicious. Wow, how did this bring my appetite back? I like it. The more nacho cheese it's like, the more I like it. Yeah, it's okay. Keep eating it. Nah. Do they only eat spiral pasta in Boston? Oh, it's growing on me. I know, right? It's almost more like Velveeta. All right, Jules, you ready to eat all the mac and cheese you can eat? There's so much good stuff here and I can't eat it. Is that mac and cheese? Dude, does this count? You know that they uh, don't expect someone to come in here and just eat mac and cheese. You do realize that, right? The noodles are kind of long. Look at that. The macaroni noodle. This tastes like Popeyes. They're so thick. Dude, if we can add condiments, can I just go to the buffet and add chicken to it? <laughs> For the value? 13 bucks? That ain't bad. Yo, spaghetti and cheese. You're welcome, Julia. You are welcome. That looks gross. That's good. That looks disgusting. Oh, yeah. Cheers! <laughs> you put it at the bottom? At Golden Corral, it doesn't have to be good. 
just has to be in abundance. Just has to be there. <laughs> okay. Why did we get this if I can't eat the meat? I didn't know what came with it. I said, what are you going to do with the burnt ends? I didn't know what that meant. I thought it meant that the mac and cheese was burnt. It's got a sweetness to it that I love. It's good. Is it better than Popeyes? Is it better than Chick-fil-A? You don't gotta tell me now. We'll talk about it later when there's better audio. It's good though, right? It is good. All right guys, it's been 24 hours. I got to finish my night off with some Velveeta. We also went to some random fancy restaurant. And if I were to rate it, locals going above the Bojangles. And this is where Velveeta's going. That's my list. Let's see how Julia's compares. I think this makes sense to have Velveeta at the same level as KFC in Boston Market. Where'd you put your local? Do you have an opinion on the local? Oh. You don't have to write it down, you can just tell them. Number one. Really? Of course. Have you tried all of these mac and cheeses before? Which one's your favorite? Let us know in the comments and let us know what you want to see for 24 hours next. I've got some really good ideas, JP. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and subscribing. Don't forget that you can also become a member for incredible perks, discounts, gifts, and appearing in our credits. There should be some videos on the screen. Make sure to check those out too. And remember, it's not healthy if it's healthy.